Hello and welcome. Campbell here from Autodidactic. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And today I thought we'd get back onto some Star Force. It's been, been a minute. Um, so we're going to have a look at Star Force in the USA. So let's jump into it. All right, and here we are on Google Earth. And just to start with, is that where QB used to be, directly under Florida? Because I thought it used to be out here somewhere. Let me know in the comments. All right, so let's start with Fort Jefferson. Now this, you may have heard, this was actually the first video I ever did on this channel. It was a video about this, Fort Jefferson uh, on the Dry Tortugas, Florida. It's, a, it's around, um, I think, a couple of hundred miles off the coast of Florida, it's basically in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, right, there's nothing around it. And the story with this is it was built during the Civil War to defend against something. They, they just sort of say it was built during the Civil War for defensive purposes. Um, now, riddle me this. What was it defending against out here in the Civil War, which was obviously, you know, in the USA? Uh, and the second question is how? Could it defend against anything? Because if you're coming in to attack the United States, which isn't the Civil War, by the way, but if that's what the defensive purposes were that they're trying to talk about, would you not just sail around this? Like there's ocean everywhere. Would you not just sail in here or sail over here? And this thing is completely useless as any kind of defensive fort. But this is what it is. This is what we've got left. This is uh, what have we got? A Pentagon. It's basically the Citadel is what's left. It's interesting because it still has a moat, right? Yet it's surrounded by water. <laughs> um, it, it never saw any action, of course. You know, none of the Star Forts did because none of them were built for defensive purposes. That's just a narrative they've put up to try and explain these structures that that are leftovers from a previous advanced civilization, a recent previous advanced civilization. And they, they're all the same. This, of course, doesn't have its its actual star on the outside, like the defensive, well, not defensive, right, but the walls on the outside, they're, they're gone, no doubt under the water somewhere. I have had a look and you can't see much, you know, you can't sort of see any, any remnants of the star shape under the water, but... You know, this is Google Earth. We know that um, it, it's not really uh, anything that we can trust. So let's go down and have a look at the inside. Now, let's have a look. Is this on the wall or on the inside? Now, so this is the inside. So this is what we see everywhere. Is this red brick buildings with archways, just arches on arches. This, like every star fort pretty much that I've seen that it still has this citadel in the in the middle uh is built like this it's red bricks and it's just these archways we're told that, that these buildings are actually the barracks right but they're not really built like barracks are they there's lots of doorways like where are all the rooms and why would you waste so much brick whoa what happened there now now we're on the roof uh why would you waste so much brick right uh building a structure that that it you can't, you know, house people in. You can't really store anything in. Like you can see, you can see straight through this wall. Like what use is that at all? But there is so much brick in Star Forts. This, this Star Fort here, Fort Jefferson, is the largest red brick construction in the United States of America with 16 million bricks. Okay, this... This lighthouse looks like it's been retrofitted. You can see it's just, oh, now we're back on the ground. Whoops. You can see it's just made of iron. You know, that, that's a later addition. But this is, it just screams of the old world. We've got these arched ceilings, which we see everywhere, right? Always made of brick. And look how, again, look how thick these walls are. All right. Of 
course, that's that's kind of half the reason they tell us it's for defensive purposes is because, you know, they look like they're built so solid. And, of course, you know, those who, who wish to rule us in this cycle, they're into their war, right, because we're in a negative cycle. So th that's, you know, that's what they want to promote and propagate, and that's really all they can think of. And I doubt this is going to tell us some more of his story. I was just trying to get up to this, this other large building here with the curved roof. Now let's see. Can we get up there? Come on, let's go. Um, as you can see, we've got paved uh, pathway here. This is all paved as well. This looks like it's probably cement block or something. So that, again, would be a later addition. And up here we have a very large arched roof. Look at that. All brick. Okay, again, not the easiest to build. You, you know, you can they just basically put like a wood support underneath it and then lay the bricks on top and then take the support away, right? Um, but we've got a nice tower here that, that they're blocking out for some reason. There it is. Uh, again, you know, we see towers all over the old world, right? But this is Fort Jefferson, the largest red brick building in the USA. You can see on this wall here, looking pretty old and smashed up and dilapidated. Obviously, there's trees growing in the middle now. Uh, but And now it is a tourist attraction, basically. Let's see if we can get up on the roof here. Uh, you can see there's boats out here. It's out in, you know, not really the Caribbean, but... Uh, I think it's it, you know, it would still be the Gulf of Mexico, so it's you know nice nice weather, nice place. This square bit down there is a little bit suspicious, All right? That could be part of the old structure. Not sure. You can see the brickwork, right? And you know this is another thing. If this was built as a fort to just basically you know get shot at by cannons, why would they be doing all these intricate? architrave type bits like it, it's silly right you don't you don't build a fort artistically you don't put creativity into a place of war right you just build it solid and of course they love to you know lie their lies um lay their cannons around right to to try and enforce the story that this is again a fort built for war so there it is, Fort Jefferson in the Dry Tortugas uh, in the, the, the Gulf of Mexico, basically. We'll just have a bit of a zoom out so you can see exactly where it is. Uh, looks like we've gone upside down. So we'll spin it around. Uh, so there it is, and this is uh, the Florida Keys and the tip of Florida here. Okay, so now we'll go and have a look. We we'll just go up the coast here. And this is Castillo de San Marcos in St. Augustine, Florida. And I actually visited this star fort last October when I was in the USA. And as you can see, this one is uh, much more the, the star shape that we're used to. It's just, it's, it's just a small one. It, it's still basically a citadel. Uh, but being so small, it doesn't have, you know, the brick structure in the middle that that's normally a hexagon or uh, sometimes they're squares or pentagons, but most of them seem to be hexagons for some reason. And this one, uh, just a four-pointed star. We have this cavalier off to the front. Uh, th these are the bits that, that are detached from the actual star and when you see these attached to the star they're called bastions and of course bastion fort is the the name that the narrative gives these um star forts they're not really called star forts it, that's really a name that, that researchers have given them because of quite obvious reasons right and this one you can see you can see this outer wall well first of all there's this inner wall which would have been the moat you know, that would have originally been filled with water. 
And down here, this is the entrance way, there's actually a bridge and a, it's like a drawbridge, right? Because these are actually the castles of old. That You know, we're told that the castles were just these square buildings. And, you know, there are square ones around and, and more sort of castle-like structures. But, but these stars have so many of the features of what we're told are castles, right? They have the moats, have the drawbridges, and, you know, all the features that they tell us are for war, basically. And you will see also this outer wall. Now, this is pretty low because, in my opinion, it's, it's buried, right? So with star forts, they are multi-leveled and they go down and they get bigger and bigger as they go down. You can even see this kind of imprint on the outside of another wall out there. And that's probably, you can see it's a bit greener. It's probably because there is a wall here and it's holding in water, right? So, so the things on the inside of this wall are greener because they get more water, right? So we can kind of see two extra walls coming off this one. But this is, you know, just the top of it, basically, just the top of the star that we can see that's left now. And... You know, like I said, all, always, you know, the narrative says they were always built for war, you know, because that's what they want us to believe, right? That we're these vicious little creatures and all we care about is war. But these were from a past civilization. And in my opinion, they were to do with energy and, and water. They're always associated with water. And I think they had something to do with structuring water you know, to make it good for the people, right? When when this society, this this realm was for the people. And also, you know, they're very similar to cymatic shapes and to, you know, things like snowflakes and uh, the frozen water crystals of Dr. Amoto, things like this. There's a common theme running through all these. And, and you know, cymatics as well, which is where you put a tune or a frequency through well you can put it through water or they, they often just put it through things like a drum skin and they'll put rice or sugar on the top of it and play a tune and you'll get very similar patterns appearing to this so that's why i believe that all these stars are actually to do with frequency not war so we'll go down and have a bit of a look see if we can get to the front gate here i think we can get down here and there you go yeah so this is the drawbridge and this has got grass here at the moment this this would have been water though clearly right <laughs> they haven't got the bridge still there um they've got the main gate here and then this is oh hello taking a photo of us this is the cavalier front and you can kind of walk up the top here and they've, they've put all their own emblems and things you know just to to propagate their story right and all right and we'll just have a bit of a look on the inside here and uh, you'll see you know most of these uh, star forts or stars you know especially in america and the newer places they were never used they're always built for war apparently but but they're never used right they never see combat or, or any any kind of battles and so mostly they turn them into prisons. And that's why you can see all these barred up windows everywhere. And this one's a little bit different as all the windows are square. And so I'm not sure if these are original or, you know, if they've been put in later when they turn it into a prison. And uh, another thing that we'll see on pretty much all these star forts are the cannons. They always put their cannons around. They put the little piles of balls there so that you know that that's a cannon. Because when you look at these, you know, they don't look they don't look like they're made for war. They're all very ornate. Most of them are made from like um, a brass alloy. They're not even, you know, made from steel. There's, there's actually lots of cannons around that, that have been blown apart and broken because they're not they're not made to have explosions in them. And I'm not sure what cannons are yet. I'm still trying to work that one out. But I don't believe that the story they tell us is is anywhere true. Of course, we have the newer cannons, you know, the small little ones that, that, that you know, you see them on pirate ships and all this kind of thing. Uh, so, so they're a lot smaller and, 
you know, on wheels and you, you could, you know, wheel them around, push them around with a few people. But these big ones, you know, even just making the stands, because the stands are always made out of wood, which is interesting, right, that they can cast these amazing, you know, cannons, we'll call them cannons, um, out of metals, right? But but then they just put them on a wooden a wooden ramp to roll them around, right? A little, little wooden cart. And in this uh, star fort, over here where these people are, under the stair here, they actually call that the toilet. And it's literally um, a little room with a hole that goes, you know, it's quite deep, goes down to the ocean. And so they're, they're trying to tell us that that was, you know, one toilet, right, for this, this whole fort that would have been manned by at least hundreds, if not thousands of soldiers in the narrative, um, one toilet. Uh, but you go there and do your business and it drops down into the ocean and floats away, apparently. And over here we even have someone in you know, the old you know, dress of the soldiers, right, from the 1700s, just to, just to let you know it was, it was definitely made for war, right? Here's another one here with his, those, those three-pointed hats. Not sure what they're called, you know. Um, and, and the dress of the 1700s, of, of the soldiers. And, of course, you know, got all these features, right, that, you know, really would you be putting these in forts if, if you're just expecting them to be, you know, attacked and, you know, shot up by cannons and set on fire and all this kind of stuff. Very interesting. And you'll see just here, you can see the red brick. You can see it a bit here. So this is, looks like at least the interior was red brick and it's just been covered. And that's another one of their, the big things they do to, to hide the past is they, they refacade them. They put a new face, right? A facade, a face ad onto these buildings. But up here you can see another bit of, um, you know, iconography, a um, bit of artistic flair on the inside of, of this building made for war. So there's so many things with these structures that really don't make a lot of sense. Okay, we're on the outside. So as you can see, this is built right on the water, like literally going into the water. So that's another reason that I believe that, you know, the land is, I believe the land's changed here. This has been flooded. There's much more of it under the water. And when this was built, in my opinion, that the land would have been different. This water probably wouldn't have been here and the land would have been a lot lower. And there's also these, um, they call them lookouts, right? These little towers on the corners and you can walk in them or some of them are open and, you know, they kind of look a little bit, you know, you can see a bit, but they're not much of a lookout tower really. You think if if you're looking out, especially for ships and that, they'd have something taller. But that's the narrative they, they spin us, right? And as we go in here, I'll see if I can get up in the sky a bit. Google Earth is a little bit hard to use sometimes. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll just pop down. We get here somewhere, yeah. Okay, and you'll see this is, you know, the original moat where the water flowed. And moats, again, you know, they're not, they're not built for war to stop people jumping across or anything like that that they like to tell us, I believe it was for structuring water. And so we've got one wall here. We've got an outer wall here. This is clearly made of, you know, stone of some kind, of the local stone. I believe this is all basically coral reef that they used to cut up into blocks and that there's lots, lots of um, structures made of this kind of stuff. Uh, in Florida, I saw a few other. There was actually a whole palace made of it. Uh, Vacari, I think it's called, Vasari. Uh, so lots of this kind of building material use. And that's with the Star Forts too. They, they tend to be made with you know, the materials that, that, that were local to the area, which kind of makes sense, right? But that's it. So this is the story. This is a fort. And, you know, what use is this little wall really if this is a fort? I mean, that's not going to stop anyone. Is it? And even this moat, I mean, you just need a long ladder and you can put it on the wall there or you could 
you know, make a floating bridge and all these types. Of, it's not really much of a defence barrier when you look at the actual, the bigger picture, right? And with all these cutouts, that they say that they're there for cannons, right? So you can put cannons everywhere. And actually up on the top of this star, there is a lot of cannons, but it's not letting us actually uh, go up and, and have a view of the top of it. So that is star fort number two, the Castillo de San Marcos in yeah. St. Augustine. The Castillo de San Marcos in St. Augustine, Florida. All right. So next on the, the list is Jacksonville, also in Florida. And we'll zoom in. And what we have here is just a little, little bitty star. And this is what I call a satellite star. You see these, these normally make rings, you know, like, like a circuit, um, a boundary around the larger stars. So we've got one there. Now you can normally find that, like I said, them sort of circumferencing uh, bigger stars. But here we, we seem to have only this because, I mean, with Florida, you can see here, it's clearly the water levels have changed. I'd say Florida was, um, it's, it was a lot higher. Like a lot of it's been inundated with water. And so lots of stuff has gone under, underwater. But I mean, even just looking at this, this looks like a man-made canal, right? Um, these are all man-made walls. These are definitely man-made walls. But if you zoom into these places, most of them, uh, you can find remnants like down here of man-made edges. Right? You can see this, this brick wall here, or this brick edge. And, you know, a lot of it's gone under and it sort of looks natural, but there's still these remnants of this edge, this man-made edge. So I would say, you know, in my opinion, that's man-made. And even the shape here, right? You know, that, that looks a, a bit like a cavalier. It could be the top of a, of a huge star. We don't know. You know, everything else has gone underwater. But we have this little star here. And we'll see if we can get in, have a bit of a look. Going to let us. Yeah, it looks like we can go there. So, oh, it looks like they've put up a wooden fence around it. Okay, but clearly... You know, we have the masonry here, the masonry arch, a masonry wall with stairs going, you know, to nowhere, <laughs> basically. And you can see there's something buried here. Okay, so with this star again, there's more to it, right? It's just all underground at the moment. Uh, we do have these inlays, so I'm not sure if this is part of the original structure or if this has just been paved later. And of course, we have the moat as well. And with so many of these moats, they, they fill them in and turn them into sort of stagnant lakes, which is interesting. You see that a lot. This one's almost open at this end, but basically that would have been a moat surrounding the whole, the whole star. And this wooden fence uh, has been built on top. You can see this is all raised up. There is, you know, something under here which would be a masonry wall. And they've just kind of put up their little wooden fence on the top um, just to sort of mark it out, like probably to turn it into a tourist destination. But it also shows us, right, two completely different types of tech, right? We've got this buried bit and that would be masonry and they just go ahead and put this, this flimsy little wooden fence on the top, which really, I mean, what would that defend against? I, I mean, seriously, it's a bit of a silly story, right? So that is in Jacksonville in Florida, USA. So next we'll go over here. So this is uh, Pensacola Beach in Florida, out on the edge here. And as we zoom in, you'll see we have another star this one i don't know it looks like there might be some mining going on i don't know it's basically out on 
and like a what we call like a spit in Australia, just like you know a bit like a land, um, like a sandbank, <clears throat> like a sandbank. So it's almost sitting out in the in the ocean, but down here, clearly we can see these these walls with the Cavaliers a bit broken. Looks like there's a big bit missing here. And again, taken over by the military. But many of these are still owned by the military and used. And you can see here the arches like we saw in Fort Jefferson. And this one looking, again, right, quite buried because we can see these inner walls. But then on the outside, we, we have more walls, right, which are no doubt not very tall. We'll go and have a look in a minute. Here we have another cavalier and we have the moat. All right, so these, these are not as they used to be. These are just, you know, the remnants, which makes me, you know, think that these are quite old. You know, they may be from two, you know, ages or cycles, whatever you want to call them, ago, right? So th this could be, you know, thousands of years old, really. We just really don't know. Uh, because, you know, we're not allowed to go in and study them, right? That's that's also why many of them are, are given to the army. But as we come down, oh, look at that, we're inside. Um, so we get this same thing that we saw at Fort Jefferson, right? These arched ceilings, big arched doorways everywhere. And again, just not looking like it was built to house... Um, you know, soldiers at all. And, of course, it is brick. I would say it's red brick, but it's been coated. It looks like it's just coated in lime or something. But they, they do that all the time, right? They change the look of it so that they all look different. But there you go. Definitely red brick. And I'll just see if there's somewhere better to have a look that doesn't take us inside. So we'll just go down here. Stand in the middle, and what do we have but a cannon? <laughs> Always got to have their cannons there, right, to perpetuate the story. And literally, on the beach, there's always someone here taking the photo, right? Um, and as you can see, all these arches, like I said, this is that big bit of wall that's, that's missing, and they just, they just go in and they love to change the whole kind of look of them just to kind of, you know, keep us off the trail, basically. Uh, but as you can see, it's really the same design that we see everywhere. It looks like they've got a big, big cannon there. Let's see if we can have a look at that one. Will it let us? No, doesn't want us to go there for some reason. Oops. And then we have these outer walls. So will it let us look at the outer wall? Not really. We can maybe go down here and see what we can see. So here you see this is the wall of, you know, what, what I'm calling the Citadel, which, again, is not, not what they would have originally been. But the story is that, you know, for a lot of these stars that they were there to protect the people in times of war, they could all run into the inner sort of Citadel, citadel the sanctuary, and take refuge. But then we have this outer structure as well, this outer wall, which is... Uh, different to this, and that, that would be the outer wall for the moat. And then uh, car parks, we can't really see those shorter walls. Not very good pictures with the sunlight there, is it? So there you go. That is, you can see it's quite a big structure, and this is that outer wall I was talking about. You can see going around there, and even if we zoom out, you can see even out here, right, you can see the remnants of further walls, right, around here. So that's sort of telling me that this, again, is, is a multi-layered structure, but most of it has been covered up at this point. All right, so let's go along. Now we're into Alabama. Alabama. And this is Fort Morgan. And this one is a nice five-pointed star. This is really, you know, where they got their name, right? Because there's many five-pointed ones around. And this is, you know, the inner, the inner sanctum. 
the the citadel and as you can see this one is a pentagon five-sided uh, but that's basically when we looked at fort jefferson that's all that's left it's just this inner part the outer walls are all gone under the ocean and again here you can see you know you can see inner walls here right that are surrounding the citadel then we've got the outer wall and then out further there's clearly something else here right so again, they're multi-layered, these stars. So we'll go in and have a look if, if we can get in there. Oh, looks like we can. Let's go here. And you'll see again, we get this same structure of these arches. Again, this one's only one story high. You can see they've built these in. Right? Everything in the old world seemed, you know, the windows and doors all seem to be arched. But then when we come into the new age, um, and when they get in and they and they reface them, refacade them, it's always squares and rectangles, right angles, right? But clearly, this is the same kind of design, right? As we've seen in all the other stars. Up here, this look, up here, this looks like newer construction. They look like they're sort of cement columns and a big castle like turret up there and even on the inside you can just see these different levels in here with the stairs for no reason right and they've put their little towers and things on it just to perpetuate the the story of war so that that's that inner built so i'd say this whole bit here uh, has been, you know, built after the fact, just so that they can use this, you know, the army would be using it. And as you'll see, this is called a battery. Right, a battery. What are batteries used for, right? Energy. So is that is that sort of a bit of a hint as to what this really is, right? Of course, batteries have charge. And what do soldiers do? They charge, right? You've got to charge the enemy. It's got to, got to make sure that it's, it's the right polarity, I guess. But the old world seems to be built on frequency and polarity. That they, they were working with Earth energies and for the good, not, not to make war. What's that down there? That You can see this wall here. Okay, just, just sort of going around. So that may be remnants of, again, a bigger... A bigger star because you can see it over here as well right you see this wall it's going around of course it's you know most of it's been lost you can kind of see it out here a bit and of course the moat in this one's been emptied as well so that's in alabama and just across the way and and you see this a lot as well with waterways and they'll have one on each side which is interesting, you know, because this is salt water, right? Is that the salt bridge that they're using for energy for the for the battery? And it looks like Google's not going to let us look at that one. You find this with a lot of the ones that are still being used as or by the army, but they, Google won't zoom into them. And you know, we know what Google is, right? Google Earth. It's it's all. It's really there to give us their version of what, what the earth is, not, not the actual truth of what you can see. Uh, so here's another one. We'll see what we can see down here. All right, so we've got a bit, right? They've put a road. It looks like a tunnel right through the star. All right, so they love to destroy the old world, but you can clearly see all right, the remnants here of the star. This side's gone. We've got the bastions here, and then again, in the ground, you can see there was more to this. So that would have been the edge of the moat, and then out here, another wall, right? but all buried now. And in this instance, they've basically just built straight over the top of it, right? just, just to hide the old world. They love to do it. Uh, down here, I think there's this... Is that Texas yet? No, that's Mississippi. Mississippi. And another one out on 
these sandbanks, like out in the ocean almost. And as we come down, what do we find? Oh, okay, so this, this is another design we see a lot, this kind of horseshoe-looking design. Um, you know, they, they, they're clearly very similar to the stars and, and I think it's part of the same network. But this is probably more of like a satellite like we saw earlier, like a satellite fort. And you can see on the inside we've got this same red brick structure with the arches. Right, so they're, they're all very similar um, with the features that they have. Is it going to let us in? Not really. We can go down and have a look at the outside. So we're out on the beach here. And there you go, big red brick structure. You can see how, how much these bricks have worn away. And, you know, we have these arches everywhere again. And just, you know, all this facading, right, all this... All this creative, you know, work, workmanship on the outside, like what's it for if this is the outside of a fort? In the first battle, that would just be, you know, de defaced really. Like there's no point to it if this is, you know, a fort made for war. You see a couple of chimneys or chimney-esque things poking up through the top here. So, again, this would have been the top level of a much, much bigger structure. And I mean, and, you know, Google Earth, right? Good on you. This is clearly not a photo. This is just, you know, an image that they've put over, not a very good one at that. But, you know, when Google Earth came out, it used to actually have pictures, right, photos. But now they just use it to cover up, right, cover everything up. Uh, moving forward to Louisiana, down near New Orleans. And here we have another one of these curved ones, right? These sort of satellite-looking stars. This is almost like, you know, half the horseshoe design and half the star design. We've got a bastion here. This one's moated with water in it. Oh, it's coming straight off the ocean, basically. So these tend to be smaller, um, but you can still see there's something in the ground here, right? Looks like the top of a wall. You can kind of see it pointed there. Comes around here, right? So this is probably the, the original edge of the moat, right? Down into there. And even this wall might be part of it too, right? But they like, they like the angles in these in these constructions. They always have these these pointy angle things everywhere. And even the even the shoreline. Just the look of that. Looks like it was probably part of a bigger structure. Uh, another one in New Orleans. This is Fort Macomb. And there we go. So this is what I was talking about, these sort of satellite so if we go back here, they normally do a, like a, a circuit around something much bigger. So there was, there's probably one under the water here, or maybe two, and out here, which would mean there's probably an original you know, star structure down in the middle here somewhere. Because um, when, when they go around, we'll see if we can see any in the USA. You definitely see them in Europe where they have these these rings around them of smaller satellite stars. But this one, just another little one. It's got some of the moat left. Looks like they've turned into a lake. And this is, you know, the same kind of thing, right? This one's pretty old and, and not looked after very well. And red brick, we'll just see if we can get into it. There's one spot. Just want to see what the inside looks like. Oh, wow, very overgrown. Okay, you can see these. That's an arched window. These are a bit squarer. Uh, we can't move around much, but slightly different design. But here we have the arches, right, that we've seen in all the other ones. All these arched windows and doorways with these brick ceilings, brick curved ceilings. And they've just let this one... 
and they've just completely let this one go. No doubt it's a tourist attraction now. And again, you know, you can see that's it's been filled in by Google. It's not even the real image. I don't want us looking, right? Because when we look, we, we tend to ask too many questions and start to break their narrative apart. Fort Jackson, Louisiana, or is it Louisiana? Down here. And what do we have? Okay, so we've got just the remnants again, right? We can see a bastion here poking out. This no doubt would have been the moat. You can see more walls around here and, and a double wall, right? Going out further. Another bastion there. Okay, ah, now I see it. So when we come back, we can see it's one, two, three, four, five pointed star. Okay, but clearly in, in pretty, you know, bad condition. And the citadel from the middle has completely gone or is, so most of the time the arches are built into this outer wall as well, but then you have another structure on the inside. So this, whatever this is, is probably a retrofit. We'll see if it lets us in there. And no, they don't want us looking. <laughs> so you'd have to go there yourself. So if anyone has been to these forts, leave me a comment. Let me know if I've only been to one, but I'd like to get to more. Um, I'm, I'm in the US at the moment and planning to come back. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I will try and get out of some, but there's quite a few. You know, you would be surprised. These are all over the USA, these star forts. All right. <clears throat> and here we have one in Anahuac. Is that how I say it? Anahuac in Texas. All right. So this one here, this one's really quite buried, right? We can see the remnants of it. We can see a bit of a bastion here. And we can see some walls out here. But literally, this one's pretty much been completely submerged under the, under the ground. They are acknowledging it as some kind of fort. So I'm not sure what the story on this one is. This is really just a Google tour of this video. Uh, we can get into some of the details in, in later videos. But you can see, you know, there's a raised bit here with a wall. But that bit there is, is you know, the giveaway, right? And it's very, very star forty. And there's a few more down here, as you can see, through Mexico, um, Cuba, the, the Tortegas, that's uh, Jefferson, I guess, Fort Jefferson. Did we see this one? I don't think we did. Oh, okay, it's because it's, let's have a look. Okay, we missed one. Okay, let's go and have a look at, uh, the, what is it? Fort Zachary Taylor. And there we go, it's motored. And again, this is the smaller sort of satellite kind of star. And you can see in here, we've got this, this familiar bastion shape. And can we see any other levels? I mean, it's hard to say if it's a fence. We'll have to go down and have a look. But it looks, you know, these ones are normally smaller. But, but like I said, with all of them, there are, you know, there's always extra levels that are completely buried under the ground. Okay, it's going to let us in. Let's go have a look. Okay, and again, we get these arched windows and doorways. So, so these many of these windows may have been retrofitted. Like I said, that they like to turn these things into prisons and stuff. But this, I mean, I doubt that it's a new building. I mean, this this might be an old section they may have built onto it. I'm not sure, but but these square, you know, rectangle windows are definitely not a feature of stars. But this is, right? This this looks just like, you know, Fort Jefferson and the other forts that have these big red brick um, archways built into the outer wall, right? The wall that basically sits on, you know, the moat, what we're told are moats. And this, uh, it's hard to see what that is. If it's new or old, it could be could be old and just being refacaded, which probably is the case because 
It's a pretty big structure. It doesn't look like it's that useful. Uh, they've put up a few tents just probably to show us where the, the soldiers lived, right? <laughs> um, okay, so that's that big structure there. And what they do with these circles, this is where they put their cannons so they can tell us that this was definitely made for war, right? I don't think we can get on the top there. Oh, there's one spot. Okay, so here we go. So this has clearly had a lot of work done. Looks like it's been paved and there's these metal covers everywhere, which probably, you know, used to go down. It would have been stairways or something coming up. And this also looks like it's made from, see the sandstone or like the, the reef material, the reef stone that they use, where they basically, you know, the reef used to be underwater and it rises up and they just cut it up. So this is all made of shells and stuff. Basically the same ingredients that, you know, you use to make bricks and things and, and um, cements and all this kind of stuff. But as you can see, definitely got the similar features to many these stars even out here you can see the arches right in the walls going along so there we have that one's back in florida at key west uh, there's heaps in the bahamas we can do those on another video but i'll leave it there because that's uh we're getting on a bit for time so that's basically the stars we're gonna have a look at this one in mexico um star forts of the caribbean right you see we have one down here, look at that, square one, the Cavalier, and this has even got two other detached parts. You can see the outer bit here, the original outer bit of the moat, and then it's basically it's sitting, is that in the ocean? Yeah, sitting out in the ocean. So how did they build that and why did they build that in the ocean when they could have just built it here on the land? It doesn't make a lot of sense. And, of course, all these edges are man-made. You can see this little step in here. Like, it doesn't make sense if you're just building a barrier, right? If you're just building a dock or something. But if you're building a cymatic shape based on frequency, then it starts to make more sense. And you can even see it looks like there was a bit of a pointy bit there. Maybe. It's hard to tell with a lot of these because they're just so old and so... <laughs> And, uh, you know, so dilapidated, right? But like I said, right through here, they're in Cuba, right? Like, so, so, you know, we're told that all these different countries and different cultures were building the exact same features. Now, I'll just show you this because this area is covered in them. Now, the best ones are down in here. You can see there. A nice sort of off square shape. Right, we can see the outer wall for the moats and the rest has gone into the ocean but even the outside wall here is probably part of the original structure. Can we see anything inland? Not really, it's all been built over. Uh, if we come down there was one there. There you go, still got its moat. Nice four-sided star. Castillo de la Real Fuesa. That's how you say it. Uh, on the other side, you can see there this big one. Okay, can you see that? The outline there, we've got the two cavaliers. And clearly that's not the whole star. The rest has gone into the water somewhere. So this whole area is covered like it would have been almost like Malta. Right, to star fort on star fort. And down here, a bit hard to see, but we've got like the, the moat bit here and the outside, one sort of outside wall of the star. Um, okay, and this way as well. So it's not the best picture again, you know. Thanks, Google. This is clearly an image, not a photo. But you can see the wall comes around here. Right, so this is quite, you know, an irregular shape one. And we do have, you know, very, some very irregular shaped stars. But basically we've got the two, you know, cavaliers or bastions at the bottom here. And then it goes up into kind of a, 
a funny shape. And this is why I tend to think that they're built on energy points and they're they're just mirroring the frequency that they see or that the, that is there for that area, probably to amplify it in some way. There's another one here. So we can kind of, you can see the outside walls here going around. Again, this one's kind of been built over a lot. And this is the inner sanctum, but I mean, it's not really a very good picture, is it? And no, there's one spot we can go down. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, hello. What are you doing there? Okay, so this is inside, right? We've got these arched ceilings again. Made a brick, and this is okay. So there's a, a picture of the fort there as it was in some time. And, and even in this little depiction, you see this is clearly a moat because they've got a drawbridge, but look at this outer fence. It's just wooden pickets, right? Clearly two different types of tech going on. And we pull back. So this again, this is Cuba, right? And um, it's got a lot of star forts, right? Pretty good for a third world country. And here's another irregular shaped star here. Right, just in the middle there. So there are star forts all over this realm. Let me pull back. There's another one here. Castillo de San Sever uh, Severino. There we go. A nice square star. The same thing we see everywhere, right? We've got the wall for the moat, and then we've got these outer walls. The same, you know, spearhead shaped bastions and these pointy sort of cavalier type bits. And it's always the same features. The outer wall here that's been buried. And no doubt that would also be much bigger. Um, just most of it's under the ground at the moment. And as you can see, they, they, they go the whole way around down here. So uh, we'll do maybe those in the next video and then we'll hit up America, right? So as you can see, look at the east coast of America, how many there are. All these yellow and green pins, they are all star forts. Even out here on Bermuda, right? Out in the middle of the ocean, in this tiny little island, there's four star forts, right? Again, like who are Bermuda, you know, defending against? Oh, look at this. So this is a bit of a complex. So we can see this top, a regular shaped one up here. Then this is part of a bigger one here. This outer wall goes around. You can see that bit there. And then the rest probably in the water, but... We even have a nice, what well, looks like a little sort of upside down cavalier there. Of course, the cruise ships, right? Uh, these man made walls in the ocean. I mean, so this whole area, this whole end looks like it was at one point a big star fort complex. There's another one here, Score Hill. And you can see Bermuda, you know, clearly it's, it's gone underwater, right? Uh, so this one, you can see the wall here, the bastion, got this big detached sort of cavalier here, and just remnants, right? Just remnants of them. So this, you know, this isn't marked as a as a fort, uh, basically because it's been so buried, really. But clearly, you know, it's there. This is Fort Hamilton. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, there you go. So this is like a satellite. You can see the walls, they just let, let the trees grow over it. Uh, this is, they're calling this one a fort. So you can see there is an inner wall as well. And this, this sort of chevron pointy bit here. <laughs> and of course, all the bits for their cannons. Because it's got to be about war.
but depending on on where you are and the different stars you know that some are, are very easy to spot and others are much harder and the last one in Bermuda is St George's so if we come down oh, that's a very irregular shaped one like I said there's lots that look like this right but they're still clearly the same kind of structure as the rest of the stars that we see. So there you go, guys. Star forts of the Caribbean. And as you can see, Bermuda is just out in the middle of nowhere. And that's what you find with these stars. They are everywhere. They'll just be out on islands in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot in Sydney Harbour that are islands. On the West Coast, I haven't found too many on this side at the moment. There are a few but we will check those out in later videos, just so you can see as well. Like they're in South America, but if we zip across to Europe, look at, look at that. They're all star forts. So they, they're literally everywhere, right? They go down, they're in Africa. Let's see, we've got a couple here. Um, obviously, Africa got hit pretty bad in, in one of the the cataclysms and resets, we've got them in India, Sri Lanka, down through Asia, and yes, they're even in Australia. And all on this fake spinning ball. <laughs> all right, so thanks for joining me. I hope you like that one. I will um, be doing some more videos just on the USA, and we'll, we'll probably end up covering the whole lot, the whole realm, uh, just to show you, and so you can share it around, right? Because not many people know about star forts. I mean, they absolutely blew my mind when I first found and then started when I first found them and then realized that they were everywhere and we've never been told about them. But clearly all got very similar features, which to my mind means they're for similar functions. And that function is nothing to do with war. So thanks for spending some time with me. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins. Come on!